Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to be solving a question on advanced circular arrangements. In this question, we are going to be looking at uh, a question where you have to arrange a group of people around a circular table and also the relationship between the people is given. So let us see how to approach such questions. So let's look at the question. Uh, there are eight family members, I, J, K, L, M, N, O and P sitting around a circular table facing the center but not necessarily in the same order. There are equal number of males and females in the family. So what can I say? There are four males and four females, right? That's the first thing that I'm able to get. Now, they are saying that I and L are males. So I just write it down here. See, I'm just writing down here so that I don't miss out any information that is given. Then what is given? J is fourth to the right of his father I, who is the son of K, who has two children. So now what is, uh, now I first I'm not going to do the arrangement. Before that, let me try to get the relationship diagram, okay? Um, J is fourth to the right of his father I. So uh, J has a father I, correct? That much you can say. So J has a father I. Okay, so you know this is a boy. I'm just putting B there. Uh, J is fourth to the right of his father I, who is the son of K. So I can say that I is the son of K, correct? Okay, who has two children. So this K has two children, I and one more person. Next they are saying P is not the wife of I. Then they say that no male is a neighbor of J. For now, I am not taking that. Uh, grandfather is an immediate neighbor of his son. So here, now when uh, once you have got, okay, grandfather is immediate neighbor of his son. Let's keep that there. Then grandson is on the immediate left of his wife N and sits on the immediate right of his grandfather. Right? Uh, so I what I can say is that N is a female. I just write it down here. Then, uh, then what else is given? The wife of I sits four to the right of her father-in-law. So this I is married. There is one person here that I have to find out. There is one. Uh, there is only one person between the wife of I and O who is the wife of J. So O is the wife of J. What does that mean? So this is a girl and this is a boy. So the third boy in the group is J. Correct? Now, uh, then what are they saying? See, again they have said that grandson Grandson means who is grandson? Grandson definitely has to be uh, this. So he is the grandfather definitely, right? Now when you look, when you get this blood relation itself, what you see? This is one generation, second generation, third generation. So this person's generation is going to be the grandparent generation. Grandson generation is going to be this. Now what are they saying? Grandson um, is on the immediate left of his wife N. So basically there is one more grandchild here, correct? So uh, we don't know who that is. That grandson has a wife. N. That much we know. There is a boy here. We don't know who he is. Okay. Now, um, then it is given that grandfather is an immediate neighbor of grandson. See, note here, nothing about a grandmother is given here. Is there any information about a grandmother given here? No. Right. Now, uh, you ha see, I have to find out one person here. This is a boy for sure. I know. Now, this is going to be a girl. Correct. So, how many girls have I found out? One, two, three. Three girls. One, two, three. Correct? Uh, three boys. Now, I, ha I have a grandfather also. So, who has to be? This has to be a boy and this has to be the grandfather. Correct? See, no information about a grandmother is given in the question. And it is very clearly given that there are four males and four females. So, this has to be the male because there is a grandparent. So, and this has to be a female. Right? So, this much is given. Now, uh, once you get this, now what can you say? What are they saying? Uh, K... There is only one person between the wife of I and uh, I and O. And O, who is the wife of J? Yes, that you got. The wife of I uh, sits four to the right of her father-in-law. P is not the wife of I. If you look at the male, right? Who are the male here? You have I, L, J and K. This you have got. Correct? And you have freezed three of them. This is J. This is uh, I. I, J, K, you have freezed. So who has to be this one? This person has definitely has to be L. And if you see here in this question, there is only one married couple. So definitely he has to be this person's son again. Right? This I has two sons, J and L. Then they have given that P is not the wife of I. So what does that mean? This has definitely be P. So who is going to be the wife of I? M is going to be the wife of I. So this is the arrangement that you get. Okay. So once we freeze down the males, we know who are the females in the group. So you have N, M. You didn't write this. I'm just writing it down. N, M, P and 
Oh, these are the females in the group. Now try to arrange them. The arrangement becomes very, very easy. Okay. So what is given here? Um, now let us look at the arrangement. J is fourth to the right of his father I. So J is fourth to the right of his father means this is I. J is fourth to the right. One, two, three, four. This is J. See they have already given in the question that everybody is facing the center. Correct? Okay. Then what is there? Um, J is fourth to the right of his father I who is the son of K who has two children. Uh, no male is a neighbor of J. So the two people who come here have to be female. Let us just write it down like that. Then what are they saying? Uh, grandfather is an immediate neighbor of his son. So where is the grandfather here? Okay, we have not fixed the grandfather yet. Correct? Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Grandfather is an immediate neighbor of his son. Who is the son? Son is B I. Correct? So, grandfather has to be here or here. So, this K can be either here or here. I don't know where. We have to fix him. Let's put K here for now. Then it is given that uh, grandson uh, is on the immediate left of his wife N. Who sits on the immediate right of his grandfather. So, what does that mean? See, this wife N. Correct? This N sits on the immediate right of his grandfather of the grandfather so where should n be uh, n is on the immediate left of his wife n and sits on the immediate right of his grandfather so who is the grandson whose wife is n l correct so l should sit on the immediate right of the grandfather if i put grandfather that is k here can l be here so that's not possible so th this is not where i should place k k definitely has to be here and this will be l and this is going to be n because it is very clearly given that n is sitting um, uh, grandson is sitting on the immediate left of his wife N. Right? Then the wife of I sits four to the right of her father-in-law. So where is her father-in-law? This is her father-in-law. So four to the right means one, two, three, four. Wife of I. Who is wife of I? M. Then how many people are there now? You have fixed one, two, three, four, five, six people. There are two more people left. Then there is only one person between the wife of I and O who is the wife of J. So uh, this has to be Oh, definitely this has to be an O and there is only one person between them. And who is the person who is left? That is going to be P. See, that's his arrangement. Okay. First thing you know this, right? How I wrote K, I and B. It is very, very clearly given here. See, uh, J is 4 to the right of his father, I, who is the son of K. That is given. I know this person has two children. I wrote that. Then what did they say? They said that there is a grandson uh, is on the immediate left of his wife N. So there is a grandson who has a wife N. So I found out that there is N and who has a husband. And he is a grandson. I don't know who he is. I left him there. Then uh, they had also given that there is only one person between the wife of I and O uh, whose wife is J. Right? That is given and they have also said that J is fourth to the right of his father who is the son of K. Yeah. See, you know J is also a grandson. Correct? They have also given J's wife is O. So, first what we did, I freezed K, I and J. Then J's wife is O. Information is already given. Then I understand that there is one more grandson, right, whose wife is going to be N. So, I stopped there. Then, now I am left with, see, I know this is a girl. Boy, girl. I have found out already. Boy, boy. Okay, now in the question, nothing about a grandmother is given. So I am left to find out who is going to come here, who is going to be this wife and who is going to be this person, right? So since this is, I have found out three males, correct? If you see in the question, they had given I and L are males. So I have already fixed three males in the group. So the next male in the group has to be L, correct? And this is the only place where I can fix a male. So this is going to be L. So if I fixed this also, then they had also given that P is not the wife of I. So if P is not the wife of I, definitely P has to be here. So who is left? M is left. So that is how I got this blood relation. Now uh, coming to the arrangement. Now doing the arrangement is simple because you know who is who is what, right? See what are they saying? J is fourth to the right of his father I. So I, I fixed J and I. Then they are saying that grandfather is an immediate neighbor of his son. Who is grandfather's son? I. Correct. So grandfather either has to come here or come here. Now in the next statement they said that grandson is on the immediate left of his wife N. So who is N's husband? L. So L is on the immediate left of his wife N and sits on the immediate right of his grandfather. So if I place grandfather here, L has to be here. Not possible. So I place K here. Correct. Grandfather has to be here. So this is L and 
this is n the wife of i sits fourth to the right of her father in law so where is the father in law k k is the father in law and who is the wife of i m so fourth to the right means 1 2 3 and 4 so this is going to be m there is only one person between wife of i who is wife of i it is m there is only one person between m and o so who is that one person it has to be p okay hope it was clear yes now okay let us look at the questions there are a lot of questions following that okay how is p related to i how is p related to i p is i's sister correct yeah then uh, who among the following sits third to the left of k who sits third to the left of k 1 2 3 p sits third to the left of k so who is p p is the daughter of k correct k was the grandfather and he had two children p and i so p is the daughter of k who among the following is the mother of l and j who was the mother here m was the mother of l and j m was the mother of l and j how many persons are there between i and his wife so how many persons are there between i and his wife how many persons are there two persons are there so two then how was n related to o n and o sister in law correct so they are sister in law which of the following statements is true so uh, j sits on the immediate uh, left of his wife first one is j sits on the uh, immediate no that is not true correct j sits on the immediate left of his wife are uh, not true then k sits opposite to his daughter does k sit opposite to p no that's also not true both neighbors of p are females both neighbors of p who are both neighbors of p yeah the m and o both m and o are females right that is true option c yes so these were the questions that was following right good yes so that's it from us uh, for now guys all the very best with your preparations and i'll see you in the next session and this is gayatri signing off till then take care